What up? This is Benji with another tutorial on Geist. Actually, this is the new Geist, and I kind of wanted to give y'all a review on it, uh, let y'all see the new features within it. It's a deep program, so I'm not going to spend all time, all, all, all day on it. Uh, I'm definitely going to come back and do new tutorials on it uh, so I, and get more in depth with it. All right. So the first thing uh, that you notice, and they are side by side, this is Geist 2, this is Geist 1, okay? First big notice is it's scalable, okay? So now you can look at more real estate as far as the plugin goes, uh, uh, as far as like doing everything, sequencing or whatever. Uh, more real estate, okay? Next thing will be is the the engines are now up at the top, which is cool because it's kind of like out of the way, and you know, f for it to be down here on 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 one which was cool but you know this is way more better it, it just feels better it looks better it's overall better all right next thing you know notice what notice is let's just pull over the, pull open this browser and scale it down so you can actually see all right next thing you notice is the pads the pads you now they have 64 pads on one engine which is huge because you can basically do all your sequencing in one engine and have all your drums, all your snares, percussions, and everything all in one engine, which is great. You know, that's that's like huge for me because I would use my engines as like auxiliary. So all my snares, hi-hats, and kicks, excuse me, will be on uh, different engines. Now I don't have to do that anymore. And basically, you can see it all. If you just press all on this, you can see all your pads within the sequencer, right? Another difference will be is the window for uh, changing and uh, manipulating your drums or manipulating your sounds are all is at the bottom now. And instead of going to the pads layer, which you would do on Geist 1, as you can see over here, you would go to the pads layer to affect like your tuning, like your, your cutoff filter, your time stretch, and, and even uh, your different layers. Now that's all at the bottom, so which makes it more friendly for creativity. Now you have all your you know miscellaneous or engineering tools at the top, and within the window of creativity, you have all your creative tools at the actual eye level of how you're gonna work within the program itself so that's huge now you have different filters you have new filters that they put in the program uh, i guess it's from their flagship products uh uh and i don't know exactly which one where they come from or whatever but they're definitely dope filters i haven't used them too much yet but is way more than they had way more than that was in here uh as you can see let me just uh go to a filter yeah so these are the filters you had uh within guys one now on a single pad you have so many filters uh another thing that would be different uh you have this feature within this this program where uh, you can affect the way the loop loops back within a track within one pad all right so let's just i'm gonna just give you an example of that so i have right here is a kick and i have a sequence going but i'm gonna just show y'all the difference they have a little uh arrow right here that you can move and once you move that, it affects, see that right there? It's affecting the loop playback of that track. And imagine doing that on each pad, different lengths of loop for each pad, All right? And that's huge, right? So you can basically go, say I would probably do that more on like a hi-hat or something, right? Just to have it like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Just to have it like doing something crazy. Say like on this hi-hat. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a 
unpredictable random it's almost like random but it actually goes back to the one at some point uh but it's just not at, as exact or whatever um that's that's a dope feature in itself and of course that ain't even thought about in guys one or whatever uh like i say man this is a deep program it's a lot it's a lot of things to get into and i'm definitely gonna get into that on a different uh on different videos but for now i just wanted to show y'all a few features uh within that and then you know we still got to get into like the browser uh um the trans mod which is dope uh you can go different slots and uh affect different uh things within the whole overall or individual uh like mods and modulation lfo modulations and everything like that they got macros uh you can map certain things to uh, macro and then map map it on your keyboard or whatever uh which was also in guys one but is a little bit more intuitive now so yeah man that's that's the, a lot of the new features uh like i said there's a lot more that i'm gonna be getting into and i'm gonna be doing a lot more tutorials on it so y'all stay tuned for that all right peace my name is benji subscribe i should say subscribe first my name benji subscribe to the channel uh hit me up send me a message send me uh instagram i'm on instagram all the social media is benji b-e-n-n-g-i-i-e hit me up